These four Long Island puppy racers and the service dogs they are raising will be marching in Monday's presidential inaugural parade in Washington, D.C. The nationwide organization they volunteer for, Canine Companions for Independence, provides trained assistance dogs for persons with disabilities other than blindness. Canine Companions was awarded a highly sought-after spot in the parade, which has a service theme. 134 representatives from the organization and 57 of their service dogs will be marching, including Ditto, Tron, Cowboy, and Christine. It's a tremendous honor. Um, 2,800 organizations had applied to participate. 43 were selected, and we were one of the 43. And we were just thrilled, thrilled when we were given the news. And it's a long-standing tradition, the parade, a celebration of the presidency, a celebration of our democracy and our rights and freedoms to vote. And we're just looking forward to being part of that. I was so excited, first of all, to go to Washington and be part of history. And then to go with Canine Companions for Independence and march with 135 other people was really exciting for me. It's a huge honor, uh, absolutely huge honor for um, the dogs as well as me, obviously. But um, to have those dogs recognized in the inaugural parade is just off the charts. It's really great that there's going to be a national spotlight on the organization. It's a really great organization. Very excited, honored to be chosen to go. I don't know how many people wanted to go, but very excited. So we wanted to know if the dogs themselves were just as excited to be part of this parade. So Cowboy, what do you think? <coughs> Looks pretty excited <coughs> to me. It also is representative and hopefully educational to people who are unaware of assistance dogs and the roles that they play in people's lives. Most people see these dogs and their first reaction is it's a CNI organization and it's not. Uh, CCI doesn't do CNI but they do help a ton of other people. Their service is for many different um, services, facility, um, hearing dogs, um, a variety. And to inform the public that there are so many different services that dogs are needed for is just, you know, to get that word out there as opposed to just it's a seeing eye dog, you know, um, is really, really important. Just to be a part of uh, this type of organization and to help these dogs out in their early stages to kind of give them that uh, extra boost to be become the service dogs that they can become is just a wonderful thing. It's wonderful to be part of this organization that helps people with disabilities and especially that relationship between a person and their dog is so special and for it to be someone who really depends on the dog to help with their independence it's it's a pleasure to be part of that experience. For me I um, see these young men and women coming back from the wars that we've been involved in with missing limbs and um, to have a dog help them to be whole again. If I can do the littlest part, which is raising a puppy, getting them through those puppy years, um, you know, that's nothing compared to what those servicemen have done for us. So that's really how I got involved. I'm giving a gift to someone and that is just extraordinary to me and I think it's probably will be one of the greatest gifts that they could get in their life and when people really find out about Canine Companions they will see all the wonderful videos and read all the wonderful stories about parents that talk about their children's happiness and about people who have had misfortune who the dog has changed their life for such a positive, in, in such a positive way, I love and I am so proud to be a part of Canine Companions for Independence. In Medford, Chris Kalora reporting, Long Island Online News.